how are you? Good, good. Did you get your monitor? Hmm? Did you get your monitor? What, the, what, what, what is that? Explain that. What is that? Is that a program or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Focus detector. Focus detector. Focus detector to the heart. I have focus detectors already. Okay. You know, so. Did you sign up for the uh, program? What is that? The Code Red program? Code Red program is the program where they talk to you about they send you email notifications, text notifications yeah. about um, weather or anything that's going on, emergency things that are going on in the city. Really? So how, how, how do people sign up for that? Oh, you can sign up right there. Send them here. Send them here. All right. Here. Can you talk All right about here. the Code Red program? The Code Red program. Yeah. Emergency notification system. Right. Okay. All right. Let me, let, me, let, me, uh, let me check that out. Let me, uh, show me, take me through this step by step. What is this now? So October is fire prevention. Okay. And every October, my administration has firehouse open houses where we work with fire commissioner Darnell Whitfield, mm -hmm. and we open uh, firehouses to the public to learn about fire safety, mm -hmm. fire prevention, what to do in the event of a fire or okay. other emergency in the home. Okay. Now, I know you've you got the, that program where people can, uh, they, you know, uh, put their name down or whatever, what's it called, the Code Red or whatever? Yes. Yeah. Now, uh, the Code Red, I think the police have something, the police department has something like that. Also, where they notify you of emergencies or well, whatever? Well, it really, Code Red is through fire. Yeah. What it does is it provides uh, people who sign up in the community yeah. uh, with emergency and non-emergency notifications. And people can sign up and say, I would like to get these notifications. And then we will send them, in an emergency situation, information. Mm -hmm. And for those that want to get non-emergency information, we'll send them that as well. Okay. All right. That'll be all. Thanks a lot. The other thing that we've done, um, Chris, is yeah. we, uh, at these open houses, we provide uh, families with free smoke detectors. We want to make sure every Buffalo household has working smoke detectors. Mm -hmm. And we also provide something that's called a file of life card, right. so that if an emergency responder has to come to a home, they'll know what people's medical situation is, mm -hmm. if they're on medications, and that has helped us to save people's lives when okay. firefighters, police officers, and ambulances have had to respond to people's homes. Okay, so how effective are the smoke detectors uh, Well, they are very effective. Yeah. They're very critically important. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a few fire fatalities this year where a fire department has discovered that homes did not have working smoke detectors. So when there are working smoke detectors in homes, it can give families that early war warning right. to get out, to get out safely. And so that's why uh, we give smoke detectors out for free. Mm -hmm. We give batteries. We're constantly reminding people to make sure that their smoke detectors are functional, are working, that they have uh, fresh batteries, mm -hmm. because we don't want to lose lives to right. fire in the city of Buffalo. Now, what's the average life cycle of the batteries? What, how, how often do you think it would be good to change it? That's such a great question. We ask people uh, every year when the clocks go back mm -hmm. uh, to change the batteries in their smoke detectors. Okay. So they should, we, we would love to see them look at changing the batteries twice annually, but at least once a year they should make sure that those batteries are changed. Okay. And periodically they should do a test of the smoke detectors to make sure that they're working. All right. Now, this this uh, open house is once a year or, or more? Or, or we, um, we do them every October and we usually open um, four to six firehouses in every section of the city, mm -hmm. the east side, west side, north side, south side, to make sure that families uh, and individuals can get to them. And then during our clean sweeps, uh, which we're now up to 28 clean sweeps right. in challenged low-income neighborhoods throughout the city, yeah. we also uh, replace smoke detectors, provide batteries, uh, provide carbon monoxide detectors. Yeah. So that happens uh, in the spring mm -hmm. and fall throughout right. the city of Buffalo. Okay. All right. Okay. All right.
Jono from Denver Street. Jono from Denver. Jono is 